So put those together, that's a 2.75 volt peak to peak compared to a 400 millivolt peak to peak. Great case study, great lesson. Weak crank sensor signal. What would you do in this scenario if you didn't have a lab scope? You'd be guessing. You could measure resistance of that sensor and maybe, maybe have a resistance difference. But the thing is, the magnets get weak on these and you can't measure that with an ohm meter. A weak magnet equals a weak signal. Um, so that's one. Another one is the trouble codes that you had for this. There were no codes related to this condition. So we can't plug in our little magic scan tool and read codes and change a part in this case, can we? You need to know your systems. You need to know your designs. You need to know operation. You need to know your fundamentals on this kind of sensor and understand the K 